So guys, these are my old boots. I probably got about four seasons in these and uh, this is gonna be my third pair I'm getting ready for with these. And you can see I've pretty much walked these, you know, walked a hole right into the welting of those and they hold up really good. And what I like about them is they're almost like a tennis shoe fit. I've, I've uh, worn all different type boots, um, knee boots, rubber boots, and um, the condor type boots or whatnot, or canvas as it would be called. And um, these are just what I've found to really like. And so usually what I'll do is I'll uh, keep a pair on standby. And so these I'm gonna retire them with this upcoming season. And so I got a brand new pair in the box I'm fixing to show you. And I'm gonna show you what I like to do to them before I uh, get going with them, so. So guys, you can see this is a um, you know, brand new set of boots. Same, same pair like I had there. Um, never even been unlaced or anything. Just had them sitting in my garage. And uh, what I like to do to them though, is I like to waterproof them because leather by itself is, you know, it can be a little bit water resistant, but it's not really waterproof. And uh, this is not gonna be 100%, but it's gonna do you really good, especially for on those mornings where you're walking across a, a field with uh, dew and uh, or just even if you have to step off into some puddles and whatnot. Um, I usually, regardless, wind up having wet feet by the end of the morning. But one thing you're gonna need, or a few things you're gonna need, is just a wet, regular old toilet wax ring. And this is the cheapest way to do it. Uh, I've, I've used other methods in the past where I took beeswax um, and I'd go buy like beeswax from a local um, bee or honey farm or whatnot. And then you're gonna need a, a hair dryer. And so really all, and a rag, um, but really all you're gonna do is like, what I like to do is like right here, uh, go ahead and start, I like to heat the, like to heat the leather up and get, get a little section nice and warm. While at the same time, I'm gonna be, gonna be heating up some of the, um, the wax there from the wax ring. And again, this method is because it's super cheap and super waterproof. Um, maybe two or three bucks, five bucks at the most at most home hardware stores. Get your leather good and warm. Start warming the wax up some. And after you get it going, I'll get in here and get me a little, little scoop of it. And I like to start right here. This is area is what I call the catwalks. And I'll just smash it down into those catwalks real good. And when it's warm, it'll smash in there real good. rub it in there real tight and as it cools off it'll kind of you know kick and solidify in a sense and you don't really have to heat it up I've just kind of over the years gotten to where if I have it available I'll do it that way but I'll take this and do the whole boot every everywhere with the leather and everywhere with the stitching and I'll just smash this wax down into it and really get it in all the little openings anywhere there's a seam and I'll do it all through there like that. And then after I'm done, what I'll do is I'll get me a coffee can and throw this rag and that their leftovers in a coffee can and put it in the toolbox of my truck. That way if I'm camping or whatnot and I wanna knock the mud off my boots and put a fresh coat of waterproofing on there, then I've got my leftovers because this will go a long way. It'll do a lot of pair of boots and it's cheap enough that even if you just throw it away, but look, you can see how I'm getting into those. Anywhere there's stitching, you wanna just smash it in there. And after you get it smashed in real good, you can take and hit it with some heat again.
get it nice and warm. You can see it just rubs in a lot better then too. And these boots will shine like new money on opening day of turkey season here in a couple weeks. So go ahead and go get you a, a Johnny ring and put them on your boots and your feet will stay dry for a couple of hours out there open in the morning. We'll see you next time for another weekly wing tip.